Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be discussing some of the best methods for getting win streaks in solo bed wars, doubles, and fours. I won't be talking about trios because personally I don't think I have enough experience with this mode since I haven't got a win streak on it before. But unless you main freeze, this video should be pretty helpful for you. So like and subscribe if you enjoy and let's get into it. Oh and by the way, there's timestamps in the video and in the description. Fours is without a doubt the easiest mode to get a high win streak on, unless you're looking at 4v4, which nobody cares about. The most used win streaking method in 4s is to use a strategy called IYN. However, this strategy can come with a few flaws. The way IYN works is the team splits up into 4 different roles. Left bridge, right bridge, end defense, and glass defense. If you're a left or right bridge player, you'll be picking up iron and dropping gold to your defending teammates until you have enough iron to bridge sideways to another team. Once reaching the team, you'll need to wait for one of your teammates to show up with TNT so that you can break the bed. You should stay on the bridge until the TNT has exploded, and then proceed to jump down and break the bed in an open defense. If you can master this skill, you'll be able to get the bed almost every time. Now if you're a defender, you'll receive gold from your attackers. When your attackers leave the base, you'll need to wait until both defenders have 8 gold. Usually gold won't be distributed equally, so you'll need to communicate with your teammate in order for you to get your gold faster. Then what you'll need to do is create a butterfly defense. A butterfly defense is an endstone defense in the shape of a butterfly which has a glass coating on top of it to avoid TNT. The endstone teammate will buy 12 endstone as well as 4 glass, and then the glass teammate will buy 12 glass. Together, both teammates should be able to create a butterfly defense fairly quickly. The two defenders will then run to the attackers, jump off the bridge, and with their TNT they will drop it onto the bed defense. Then they will be able to run behind the base, waiting for the attacker to break the bed. Once the bed is broken, the attacker and the defender will do a 2v4. This does require some PvP skill, but you should be able to pick this up through practice. At this point, both teams should be able to take out their first rush, so they'll progress towards the last base. Last base should be the easiest to take out since it's a 4v4 rather than a 2v4. There's no specific strategy for the last base, but all players should be able to use their game sense to take out the team. Now, let's talk about some flaws. The first and probably the biggest flaw is that both teams are going in opposite directions. Someone could easily mid-rush your base and get the bear. Therefore, you need to make sure that everyone checks mid while they're doing their first rush. If someone is rushing through mid, some of the teammates should jump into the void as soon as possible, in order to protect the bed. The party leader should also only queue into IYN maps. These maps are specifically easier to rush from side than from the middle. The IYN maps can include Aquarium, Kara Space, Invasion, Eastwood, and any others you can find with these attributes. Another flaw is that the opposing teams may buy glass themselves, making TNT completely useless against their bed defense. When this happens, the attacker should communicate with the defender to buy some tools to break the bed, or the defender could just break a block of glass and then place the TNT, destroying the inside of the bed. Both methods work, and they're both similar in risk. IYN is a very popular strategy, and has been used by many sweats before. Technoblade used the modified version of IYN for his 1000 win streak. By the way, I have a video on that. So with that out of the way, let's get into doubles. At first glance, doubles may look like the hardest mode to get a win streak on, and I think it's definitely the hardest when you aren't as good. However, I still don't think it's the hardest mode. Just like 4s, doubles uses a strategy called IYN. Now, just to clarify, IYN stands for Inside Your Neighborhood, which means that you will always be rushing people to the sides of you, and never across the map. The main issue with doubles IYN that a lot of people face is trying to take 2v1s. In doubles IYN, there will be one defender and one rusher. The rusher will drop two gold to the defender, and then the rusher will bridge to the next island and take out the opposite team. With the four gold the defender should have, they will create a hot dog defense. A hot dog defense is made with wooden wool. It isn't very blast resistant and can easily be broken with tools, but this shouldn't be a problem since your base shouldn't get rushed very commonly. This first rush can be done in a variety of ways. However, if you're playing on a fast iron map, then you might want to defend your bed with clay, and if you're playing on a slow iron map, then you might want to pass some iron to your rusher. Try to learn your maps and see what works best for you. Once the first base is taken out, both teams should go in opposite directions and try to team wipe every base they can in that direction. Team wiping is a skill which you can pick up through practice. Some tips from me will be to focus on movement and block placement. Abusing the void can also be a very good strategy as you don't have to take out all of someone's health. Try to get better armor or swords so you can deal more damage to your opponents. When trying to go on win streaks, diamonds are quite important, so try to collect as many as you can. You should make sure to get a trap before any other diamond upgrade, and prioritize sharpness or protection. A common method used for breaking beds is TNT. However, I think that using tools is much better, as they save a lot of gold which can be used for golden apples, armor, and weapons. Do what works for you though. Doubles has quite a broad amount of possibilities, so try to plan out your attacks depending on your circumstances. In doubles, keeping your bed is extremely important, and it's much harder to clutch than fours. If you think your bed is at risk, you and your teammate need to avoid as soon as possible. 
Much like in 4s, mid rushing is quite a big vulnerability in this strategy, and it's the main reason why most sweats lose their beds. Try to check frequently if you're being mid rushed. After dying, you can usually abuse the 5 seconds of spectator you get to look at the other players in the game. If there is a situation where your bed does get destroyed, with your teammate you should prioritize emeralds and diamonds. With emeralds, try to focus on items such as ender pearls or potions, before armor, as these can be used to run away from fights which is much more important than taking them. I know it's quite obvious, but just play as safe as you can when clutching. There's no harm in a longer game. Map selection is also quite important here. Most maps using this strategy are not usually very big, but do whatever map you think you'll do well in. Personally, I found Krogram to be a very good map for doubles. When you start off doing this method, most likely you'll start with small win streaks. But if you practice it and get good at it, then you'll be able to eventually get some win streaks of over 100. And let's move on to solo win streaks. In my opinion, solo win streaks are the hardest win streaks to get. Unless you're on castle mode, which nobody cares about. Solo win streaks are hard to get as they require a lot of game sense in order for you to get them. There's no specific strategy people use, but I can reveal to you the one which I used to get a 78 win streak. Which would have been much higher if I didn't die to a glitch. My strategy involves three specific maps, Esho, Apollo, and Speedway. If I was to arrange these in order from worst to best, it would be Speedway, Apollo, and Esho. These specific maps are chosen because it's quite easy to get to mid on them. The reason as to why I'm going to mid is because I want to get obby. And I'm getting obby because in solos the biggest threat is double rushing. Double rushing is when two teams rush you at the same time. And it's very difficult to get around this because you're getting pressure from two directions. However, if you have obby then your bait can only be broken with a diamond pickaxe. So as soon as you load into your game you want to take out your first rush and bridge to mid immediately. From there collect 8 emeralds and run back to your base. Then you want to buy obby and continue the game like normal. I also recommend collecting a lot of diamonds as you want to have an advantage over as many players as possible. A trap is essential if you have obby since you can void if you know someone is at your base. When clutching in solos you want to use the exact same strategy as doubles. Prioritize items you can use to run with and then get the offense and defense items. There are two types of hackers in Bed Wars: Snipers and just regular hackers. It's much easier to beat a hacker than a sniper. If you're fighting a hacker try to get your teammate to join in and help you fight off the illegitimate player. However, if you're fighting a sniper, then you're probably fighting someone who has more experience. Snipers queue into your games with the intention to ruin your win streak. You'll know you've been sniped if a player targets you in game, types a message saying they've sniped you in chat, and then disconnects. Whilst there are some legit snipers, most of them cheat. If you want to try to take out a sniper, then you need everyone in your team on that one individual. Placing endstone in your bed will be specifically helpful because snipers can't use bed nuker through endstone, which is a cheat that allows them to break beds through blocks. Normally, stalling and trying to wait for the hacker to get banned doesn't work very well since Hypixel's anti-cheat is terrible. Now you might think you're doomed and there's no way you can possibly get a win streak without getting cheated on, but there are ways you can avoid these cheaters. If you use overlays which tell you stats and have custom report features, you might be able to leave on a few snipers rather than being sniped by them. Also make sure to check your API settings are turned off. This is very important when you want to avoid snipers. If possible, nicking games is also a great way to avoid them as it hides your username. If you find sweats in your game, then you and your teammates should target them. Most of the time, players on a high win streak will use overlays to avoid queuing into games of sweats, but this is your choice. If done unexpectedly, cross-mapping sweats can also work pretty well too. So yeah, that's how you get a win streak in Bedwars 4s, doubles, and solos. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and if you can think of any other strategies that might work, then let me know in the comments section. I'll try to respond and judge how well it might work. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.